Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. We just got our latest shipment from the Going Gear EDC Club. Let's see what we got. All right, so just a reminder, this is the Premium Club. They've got two different levels. Uh, one's at about 200 bucks and one at about 60 bucks. So $59.99 and $199.99 are the, uh, the two levels. Again, this is the Premium level. So let me go through the different items. First up, we have what they're calling the Tactile Turn. This is a standard titanium bolt action pen coming in at a value of $99. Now, if you're not a pen person, you're probably like me, but I can tell you it is a very nice pen. So that's what that looks like. Titanium is your pocket clip or your, uh, maybe your shirt clip if you rock it in a shirt. Let me show you the bolt action here. So that kind of swoops down like so. There's your pen, ETV. So it works nicely. Um, let me read the details on this. Based in Dallas, Texas, Tactile Turn manufactures extremely high quality writing instruments. This pen has been meticulous machine, meticulously machined on both the inside and the outside to create amazingly satisfying and smooth, to create an amazingly satisfying and smooth action. This is a tool made to last a lifetime. A Tactile Turn backs that up with their lifetime guarantee. So the value for this is $99.99. So, I mean, obviously that's a lot of money for a pen. You can see it's, I want to say it's, I want to say serrated. That's something what I'm looking for. There's basically ridges the whole way along. I'm blanking on what the uh, terminology is right there. But anyhow, that's your first item. Nice pen. I mean, I'll definitely rock this thing. I like tactical pens or I like nice pens in general. And a win for this one is that it, since it's bolt action, you can lock your thumb in on there and it's not going to move. And you could use this as a self-defense tool, obviously, in that type of fashion. So there's our first item. And a little bit of information there on the back. All right, next up we have this, which is the LWK6 Infinity from Anza, A-N-Z-A Knives. And that is a really cool looking fixed blade. I'll show you the sheath here real quick. It does come with a leather sheath, All right? It's nice and deep. I'm uh, just about to release a video of the Topps Knives um, Sonoran. And this is a little bit of a kind of a similar look. <laughs> you can see the some of the leather pieces there, but um, my Carta there for the handle. You can lock it in like this. You can lock it in like this. Again, look at the sheath. There's your loop for your belt. These guys are based out of California. Let me read the details to you about this knife. It says, Anza Knives is making high quality knives since 1980. Their knives are always one of a kind because they are handmade. This results in slight variations in knife to knife. The long handled WK6 is made from 10 inch high carbon steel file and includes micarta handles and a leather sheath. So that is a really slick knife. So anyhow, just a cool looking knife. Like when I saw this, I thought I'd love to throw this on a belt, have that, a fire steel, so a couple basic tools and head out into the woods to see, you know, how this would thing work, how this thing would work if you really put it through the paces. So value for this is 110. So between 99 bucks for the, the pen and 110 for this, you're already over your, you know, your paid value. And again, with all these types of boxes, are you willing to pay that amount of money and let somebody else pick items for you? But that's this knife. Very slick, cool knife. All right, next up valued at $34.95 is this. This is the Natrix, N-A-T-R-I-X. This is from Kershaw. Cool looking knife. As soon as I opened that, I was like, yes, I like that for an EDC knife. So there's your lockup right there. So this is based off a ZT knife, the 0770. So obviously this is a much less expensive uh, knife coming in at basically 35 bucks, $34.95. This is a subframe lock. You can see the backspacer there. That's cool. Uh, steel for this is 8CR13 MOV. So not a high grade steel. Uh, but again, for me, I love to have a good steel. But you know, if it's not super high grade, that's okay. Um, I actually like more Gerber knives than I think other people do, just because I like the style of them um, and the overall functionality. Even though the steel is not great often, and the steel is not amazing on this, but it'll do the job. You can sharpen it up. If this was valued at 70 bucks, I'd be like, yeah, that's too much. But for 34 95 I think that's a good deal. There it is all closed up. It does snap open nicely. And it does have their um, assisted opening. It doesn't really flick open as hard as some of their other assists, assisted knives do. But still a nice, uh, a nice knife there, the Natrix. All right, next up we have this. This is from Olight. This is the i1R2 Pro. It's a keychain light. Your uh, output's gonna be 180 lumens at the high and five lumens at the low, 180 for 23 minutes, and five lumens is gonna give you 12 hours. 
Uh, your weight is 0.78 ounces, so a tiny little keychain light. Let me take it out of the box and show it to you. I think I've got one of these in a different color that I just got from Olight. Um, but I've, I've liked their little keychain lights over the years, even the some of the original ones. Yeah, I've got this same one. I think I've got it in like a sort of like a, a bluish. It's not a cobalt blue, but anyhow. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bit beefier than the original. You can see there, I2R Pro. Crank it down. It'll go on and then more will go up to the higher, lower, and then off. And if you crank it back like this, eventually it'll open. You got your USB-C in there. The value for this is $21.95. So um, these are good, good little lights. I mean, very basic. Throw it on a keychain, and now you got a light. The uh, thing I like about this is that it's not huge. Some keychain lights are just monstrous. They're just too big for a keychain for me. This is a nice size keychain light and almost 200 lumens, which you're not going to be, you know, going hiking with this thing. But if you need a keychain light to, you know, get into the house, get out of the car, find something under the seat in the car, whatever, simple little light to do that. So valued at 22 bucks right there. There, again, this is the i1R2 Pro. Next item valued at $11.97, so basically 12 bucks, the tiny survival guide. I've actually reviewed this before. This is a great little um, item to keep uh, in your wallet or in survival kits. So 242 tips and skills inside made by David from Ultimate Survival Tips. I think in conjunction with uh, David's a friend of mine and also Craig Cottle, buddy of mine from the Nature Reliance School. And uh, basically you tear this open and then it's got... Um, like a ziplock thing here pop that open and there's the guide inside in this you're going to get the user guide and it's basically going to explain to you um you know scan this with your phone and then you can scan the qr codes in there with your phone and it'll take you over to some actual tips it does have a little advertising on the back for some more gear from them uh the msk1 knife it does have a fresnel lens that slides in and let me just open this up I think I actually added this to my first bushcraft kit in the new series I'm doing, but look at all the info here. All that. There's a close-up. Tons of info there. And then on the back side as well. So just a lot of great information about survival. Um, this is the type of thing where you can take it out and use it as a tool to train yourself. And then also just having it in a kit, even if you're not well-versed in survival, it does give you some basic information fits in a wallet, fits in, you know, your pocket, into mint tins, it will fit into an Altoids tin, which is nice, durable, tear and weather resistant, 101 illustrations, 67 life-saving skills, 175 expert tips, 27 gear checklists, 10 killer mistakes, all in the tiny survival guide valued at $11.97. Last up valued at $8.49 is from Night Eyes. I love Night Eyes. They do lots of innovative things. This is the S Beaner key ring, and you can see it's got a bunch of little carabiners there so you can put different keys onto them and allows you to take off individual ones put other ones on yeah simple little product again valued at eight dollars and 49 cents so not a huge value item as far or a huge cost item but if you got a bunch of keys this is a great way to uh organize and carry them i'm always looking for better and better systems to carry my keys so i may add this to my my current system or swap out my current system right there all right so when you look at the value of these items and then what you're paying you're getting 70 dollars plus of you know additional value again as always the question is do you want these items do you want someone else to pick items out for you um i pretty much i think this is a great box um i usually rate battle boxes from like you know bad to okay to average good great i put this in the great category i think a lot of cool items again you gotta have the money to spend on it but uh nothing in here to me is like that's just a throwaway item it's a waste everything's functional i like the quality i like the companies really excited to uh take this guy out into the woods mess around with the uh the anza anza knives anza usa 22 on the top there uh yeah i just think that's cool so uh i think it's a good box i think it's a great box and uh let's hear your thoughts and your feedback do you have any of these items what do you like what do you not like what would you change always interested in that discussion so uh, let's get that started in the comment section now um, as always I tell people, you know, these unboxings are not to tell you every piece of information about every item and then to review them fully. It's to let you know about the types of, excuse the bugs here, types of items you can get from a Going Gear um, EDC club. This, again, this is the premium level. And then uh, for you guys to decide if this is something you want to subscribe to, or also if you're like, I don't want to subscribe to the whole thing, but I like that product. I'm glad I know about it. Now you can go out and do some more research on it. So let's have the uh, discussion get going now and let's do that in the comment section. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon.
Take care.